everybody. Welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Zero streak. Um, I, I rid myself of the... Let's just come down here and check this out. I rid myself of the negative streak as a result of the last episode. Um, oh, jeez, that's a little dangerous there. Um, I rid myself of that on the NLSS. If you want to watch Wednesday's NLSS, go ahead. But for now, I'm just... Man, I've, I've been having a bad Isaac day. On the NLSS, that doesn't help. On the NLSS, I did fine. I'd, some people might even say well, but my brain's miscalibrated for Isaac right now. I don't know what's up with it. Maybe too much nuclear thrown, too much invisible ink. Um, brain's been not doing the best that it's ever done with Isaac, and I'm, I'm losing one runs. I'm losing runs that I should not be losing, and it boils down to the most frustrating way to be losing runs. Taking damage. You know, if you make a bad decision, you can learn something. If, you, if you're taking dumb damage, you're just like, man, I, I'm shit today. I'm playing shitty. So... That's what we gotta work out of ourselves right now, is, uh... We gotta stop playing shitty. There's no way to do that easily, you know? I've slumped before, semi-recently. How do you get out of a slump? You just do it, man. Like, you gotta... You just gotta play. And there's a Tinted Rock over there, but... You know, I figured we'd try to do this for a crawl space or maybe kill some enemies. Uh, you, you gotta get your morale back up. You know, confidence, to some extent, is tied to performance. So, um... We're hoping that we're gonna be able to... You know, turn that axiom to favor us, but you can tell probably like I have a diminished demeanor right now, a, a diminished affect. You know, I'm starting to talk a little bit more negatively, assume a negative tone. This can't be helping my my in-game confidence, but and I really can't be doing stuff like that. But I am. I, I like to. I'd like to think I can bounce back from this stuff quickly. You know, a, a three-loss run is kind of unprecedented territory territory for me, but. I like to think that, uh, you know, I got some mental resilience, I can bounce back from stuff like this, and it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna define my May Isaac legacy, if you will. That is, like, really, really bad damage, but we're not in a, an awful position yet, and that helps a lot. Wiggle Worm, you know what, I'll take it, because when I'm having fun, morale's up, and when morale's up, you're doing better, usually. Usually. And you know the other thing that helps out? Focus on the fundamentals. So, I actually am gonna uh, come down here. I'll take Wiggle Worm. I'll now use this to teleport in here. And this is what I was hoping for. We're, unless we get Pageant Boy, we're not gonna be able to buy BFF anyway. So, we might as well be content with this. We actually might have gotten close. Mystery Sack is okay at best. Um, I don't think our... Eh, you know what? Our item room could be here. It's worth a shot. Three cents for a bomb, and we have a chance to get an arcade on the next floor. Could have put it closer to that. Bomb rock would have been better, but it worked out just fine. For now, at least. Uh, I don't know where. Our, our uh, secret room is going to be in a weird location, but that's okay. It happens. Um, let's hope we're not fighting the haunt. Duke of Flies. Well, if I'd known that, I probably would have saved our bomb. Okay, we, that's our hit. We get to take one hit against Duke of Flies. That's it. I saw somebody that left a comment. It was about a week ago. And they said, does Northern Lion ever not use a bomb to fight Duke of Flies? Like, he's, I never have a bomb for him and he's always hard. You're not wrong, man. Duke of Flies, if without piercing shots or a bomb, is annoying. With a bomb, he's the easiest shit in the world. But the problem is, you know, it takes us two hits to kill uh, his big flies. Even his little flies, it takes us two hits. That means, like, 20% like of our shots actually land. He has low HP. But, you know, if only 20% of your shots are actually doing damage, you gotta shoot five times longer than you would if you had a bomb. It's annoying. Plus, the bomb does direct damage. But anyway, that's a very rough calculation, but it, it'll come out with a value that's approximate to how annoying this piece of crap can be. I'm just gonna take Magic 8 Ball. Um, the Emperor card is fine. Mostly having a shot speed upgrade is good for the, you know, potential items we might take in the future, like Blue Cap, for example. So we'll do something a little, little clever here. And, uh, I don't know if I'd say that that worked out for me, but this is the way that we are going to get this done, and I'm... Oh, that was so stupid. I'm glad that we, uh, came in here with the most HP that we'll probably have, uh, on this floor. So that we have, a, a the best shot possible to get a deal with the devil. And we should really, really have a good chance of getting a deal with the devil here. Just gotta not fuck it up, and d most importantly, perhaps, don't let the ghost run into you. Big ghost. Now all we gotta do is not get hit twice, and that's hey, easier said than done when you first get started fighting the haunt, but, you know, for someone who's fought the haunt a lot, not getting hit twice should be a relatively simple task. This would be like on your Isaac 301 exam. Don't get hit twice against the haunt. 
You only get one try. If you got unlimited tries, beat the haunt without taking damage. Yeah, that could make a suitable exam question, I think. I'm just waiting for the day. I'm trying to get myself as the, you know, the scholarly Isaac professor. You know, maybe I'm not the smartest Isaac guy, but I can talk about it in a scholarly way. And then when colleges inevitably start teaching courses about uh, game design, I can start doing guest lectures. It's sounding like I know what I'm talking about because I played this game way too damn much. Luck up. We'll take the keys because we need them, and the luck up is nice, and the spirit heart is nice, and Guppy's paw is nice, and um, I think we'll use it once just to give us some more of a shield for future deals with the devil, then reroll both of them, and we pretty much have to take Sister Maggie here. I, I still think for one heart it was worth it. I should have tried to push that over, but I didn't notice that tinted rock until it was already too late here. Oh, well, it's just in time to have a good uh, Skype conversation here. All right, I'm gonna sign out here. Not interested in having this. Dis I'm mean, interested in having this discussion, just not while I'm in the middle of uh, playing a game here. It's not your fault. It's late at night. You're probably thinking, "Oh, this guy's not gonna still be working." Most of the time, I wouldn't be. I'd be sitting down on my couch, uh, having a little read of something or watching some trashy TV. But instead. Uh, I slept in today, so here I am at 9.26 p.m. being like, ah, you know, let's play a little Binding of Isaac here. Which is good. It's night, you know, as opposed to recording it in the morning when I just wake up, you'd expect me to be fresher now. You would expect wrong, but at least it gives me something to have a conversation about temporarily here. Um, may not go to our shop. Depends on our, our financial situation. Six minutes in here, so this is not going to be boss rush, you know? You can't guarantee yourself boss rush early, you can come close. But uh, you can definitely guarantee yourself no boss rush early by pretty much fu not fucking it up. But not having the tools necessary to, to go fast. I can't stress enough, it's been a bad Isaac day, man. I've, I've been feeling like my brain is off. And we're getting too far away from the uh, dental surgery to blame that. But, you know, it's still a little a little painful in the jaw region, but how long can you use that as an excuse for? You know, I'm going to be like 35 years old, and I'll be like, well, you know, nine years ago I had my wisdom teeth taken out. And they'll be like, cool, man. We're never going to hang out again because you're annoying. You keep dredging up the past. That was not a smart idea, by the way. That was a, a complete waste of a key. But hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us too hard. Now we will go to our shop because why wouldn't we go to our shop for free? And I'm still banking on an arcade. We got a decent amount of red hearts, and I wouldn't mind having the opportunity to do something with... Please. Good, good, good. This is an annoying room, don't get me wrong, but I'm just happy that another room actually exists, so we can definitely reroll Book of Sin. Oh, my Lanta. Terrible damage there. And our one HP that we, you know, removed with Guppy's Paw is now pretty much vacant. Like, we got rid of it. I'm, I'm very displeased with this. I gotta stop... Like, this damage can completely screw you. On, inequivocally, unequivocally. It can completely ruin your run. The body is a huge help here. Uh, it, it helps a lot. It's not a one run. HP is not going to win me the run, but it can it can help out for sure. Uh, we're not going to pick that up until we're sure that we're done or, you know, want to be done here. Uh, yeah, we'll go to our shop. Three bombs at an average of three cents each bomb. Does give us enough to buy something from the shop. Yeah, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to buy BFF. I'll, I'm sorry, donation machine, I realize I don't treat you right. You should find somebody who treats you better, because I am I'm not that kind of a fella. I'm trying to think of what words they would have used for that. Anyway, BFF, it's good. Sister Maggie now becomes Sister Maggie 1.5. Stay away from that. You're not going to like what happens when she's angry. And an extra spirit heart. Might have rather have looked for the uh, second secret room, but there was a guarantee on the Tinted Rock. No guarantee we'd find the second secret room. Good stuff. Catacombs 1. Feeling solid. Uh, the extra HP upgrade is, is really nice. The deal with the Devil Precedent is nice. We got a third of the guppy uh, situation, which is... I don't want to use the nice word, but it's, a, it's comfortable. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, we gotta go through with that. Yeah, it, it worked out pretty fantastically for us, I'd say. I've only lost one spirit heart from three red chests. That's definitely an above average payout. Negative one spirit heart. I mean, okay. The, if you want to get technical, the spirit heart. The chest didn't lose me the spirit heart. I lost me the spirit heart. But, you know, the chest paid out with the bomb, which lost me the spirit. You get the idea. 
Does BFF actually make Sister Maggie do more damage? I've always operated under the assumption that it does. Not that 1.5 times Sister Maggie's base damage is any good, but... You know, I would rather have 1.5 times Sister Maggie's base damage than not have 1.5 times Sister Maggie's base damage. Might want to get rid of Wiggle Worm at some point. We're kind of coming dangerously close to settling into... Well, okay, it's, it's Catacombs 1. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but... We're settling dangerously close into not having any damage, much like our last run. Uh... We're only two floors deep, essentially, so I'm not going to get too bent out of shape about it. But, you know, let's, we should be wary and, and uh, aware that this can happen. You know what? Okay. I'm going to try to be a smarter guy. I'm going to drop Wiggle Worm. I know this is Northern Lion, the guy who likes to be like, Oh, Mr. Absurd, I'm a cool guy. I'm not like all the other eyes of players. I, I do what's funny all the time. But for real, I, I need a win. <laughs> I need a win in my corner this time, so we're gonna drop a uh, Wiggle Worm. It's inhibiting me enough to annoy. Yeah, I'm, I'm content with it. And now we can actually uh, zone enemies out a little bit more easily. Uh, we're, we're definitely not putting out that damage at the speed that I would like. You gotta go soon, yeah, thank you. Oh my god, I, I lined it up, and I lined it up improperly, and still was just like, yeah, you've done step one, you've lined it up. My programming's off, man. Get it together, me and also my brain, which is also me. This is embarrassing. I hate, I, I don't like giving people an excuse to hate, you know? People will watch the video and be like, oh, see that mistake he makes? That's because he's not paying attention, because he doesn't like playing the Binding of Isaac. He only does it for the fucking views, man. It's not true. I love playing this game. You know, you think if you're a baseball pitcher and you go through a slump, you're like, I hate playing professional baseball. Nah, man. Like, slumps just happen, you know? There's there's standard deviations, and then there's clumps of standard deviations that can happen just due to the nature of, you know, probability. I'm playing poorly right now. It might be a mindset problem, but it's not a, it's not a motivational issue. It's just a... I'm just playing poorly right now. I gotta say, I'm stoked. Ball of bandages for 1.5 times that orbital damage is enormous. And all of a sudden, we're cooking with gas here. Oh, this is... I mean, okay. It's not... Let's not get too crazy. It's not brimstone mom's knife or anything like that. But sacrificial dagger plus ball of bandages with BFF is all of a sudden a serious damage bonus for us without actually getting any bonus damage. That was very dumb. However, I'm still excited, and you can't take that away from me. The sun card, extremely nice, because it means that I'm not gonna die. This is a get out of jail free card with respect to our death once. And that's very, uh, very welcome at this point. I don't, and again, it sort of means that I don't care that much about taking this damage. I'd like to make the, uh, I'd like to make it last as long as possible, our, our HP that is, but if we don't get the opportunity to do so, we don't get the opportunity to do so. Obviously, this is not really what we were hoping for here. Um, with a bomb, we could make a charge happen on our uh, item room. Yeah, okay. Sorry, donation machine. I really need to like do an off-camera thing and get that pumped up again. But and I, I do want the Spirit Heart, and I don't want the Spirit Heart. I don't think the Spirit Heart is as valuable as a reroll here. We're very unlikely to get a deal with the Devil on the next floor anyway. And Bloody Lust is enormous for us. It's huge. Especially because I'm probably going to be taking a lot of damage due to, you know, completely inopportune orbital strat here. Um, we do have a second secret room close by. I can't get into it, but we have it. <laughs> this might give me a penny. I know that sounds ridiculous. Sometimes it does. I don't know what if there's an item that triggers it, but sometimes that'll just give you a penny. To be at five cents, you know, could have given us an arcade, could have given us a chance to get rage. Or, uh, um, b -b 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 IV bag. Which would give us a really good opportunity to just you know, smash dongs for the rest of the run. Smash the enemy dongs. Really wish we had that bomb uh, earlier, but it's okay, it happens. There we go, we fucked over our deal with the devil chance. The odds of it were already so low. Now, I will say it's a dangerous cocktail here. We've got uh, me not playing well with a run where the vast majority of my damage, uh, that's not gonna work, huh? The vast majority of my damage is focused in uh, orbitals for now. 
Bloody Lust can change that relatively quickly. But um, that's that's a recipe for disaster. But it's a much better recipe than just I have no damage at all. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Admittedly, not stoked about the dumb damage that I've taken thus far. That's something I'm gonna have to work on, but for now, I'm I'm living large. I'm having a good time. We're getting drops. It feels good. We're getting, you know, damage upgrades from Bloody Lust. I love Bloody Lust. It's like, the D6 seems to show up so frequently as, kind of not like all the time, but pretty frequently as a, uh, an item that can, uh, you know, replace whatever your spacebar item is as another character. Oh, this could be good. I'm actually gonna do this. I sort of regret it immediately. <laughs> At least we got our red heart back. And now what am I going to do? Walk over this and get that back? I guess we have to. I almost got myself killed there. Uh, you know what? I don't love it, but I'm going to pop the sun card right away. We'll use credit card. Um, probably not on the shop. Probably for a deal with the devil, but I could be convinced. Although if we use it on the shop, I really should have saved our uh, our other card, huh? Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Should say the sun, but that's all right. Let's see how good our secret room foo is. Really? Okay, that was direct center on the second one. You don't get any prizes for that, but well, you do get a prize. We got into the secret room. That's pretty exciting. Um, good. Now we're doing damage. Now we're going quickly, and I'm feeling motivated. Feeling enthralled, that is not smart. That was even dumber, but it was fast. Okay. Now, credit card, we gotta remember, you have to use if you wanna use it. We, we're very confident we're not getting a deal with the devil here, so we can use those rerolls like crazy if we want to. We want to. I'll take the parasite, the parasite's good enough. We're not gonna get a reroll before the boss. We could swing it so we would, but we might as well carry this with us. Uh, we could probably swing it so we, we would, I should say. Nothing's guaranteed in that, at least not yet. Inside here we get there's options, which I'll absolutely take. Eh, could suck worse. Um, I put it down already. That's gonna be enough money. So we'll definitely pick up those options. It's gonna be very helpful. Really gonna help out with not having to use as many rerolls. It does mean, oh no, we don't have to worry about not getting an arcade on the next level because it's uh, not within our control anyway. And the tinted rock. We might be able to blow up the bomb in time, but let's do it this way. I was really hoping for small rock, but hey, that spirit heart means that I don't have to buy a spirit heart, which means I can save a little bit of money and still have a small chance at a deal with the devil here. And the hollow sucks. Okay, everything's coming up Millhouse on this level. We've really, uh, turn things around. We've really had things turn around for us. I didn't have that much control over it, all things considered. We did get a deal with the devil. Toothpicks is a good enough item to pick up for sure without re-rolling. We can re-roll that. That's not good enough. And it closed up on me. I will go back for the battery because our chances of doing boss rush are pretty much nil anyway. Uh, uh, never mind, I'm not going to do it. You know why? I'll admit, laziness, it's all the way down there. I'm not going all the way down for that. Why didn't I use the credit card in the shop? I want to save it for a deal with the devil, silly. Now, again, our odds of a deal with the devil are extraordinarily low. All right, we got to try this one. We can also notice that our tears are extraordinarily small. This is the, you know, the hangover that you get after having good damage due to bloody lust. Now that we're, uh... Pretty much at base damage, but a higher fire rate. It's like, ugh, a little bit hard to come back to Earth. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Not a, not a huge fan of this right now. Not a huge fan of that. Uh, I'm not sure what I could have done to get out of it, though. Petrified Poop is a decent, uh, decent trinket. You know what? I'm, I can't really justify going to the shop right now, or the curse room. I could justify going to the shop if I had an extra key. Might want to buy a spirit heart. Because, you know, I mean, the credit card doesn't do that much for us if we don't ever get uh, another deal with the devil. It saves us 15 cents. Ooh, how fantastic. Amazing. That is really good, though. Let's not forget that we do still have a bit of guppy dream left within us. That's definitely shop motivation right there. That doesn't help. That doesn't help either, but it is what it is. 17 minutes in here. 
Uh, would like to get a key out of that. I think that's fair. We should check that rune as well. Uh, and that demon judgment is interesting. The gauze rune. I'll just use that right now. It gives me a decent ability to, to play this demon judgment. Then get the extra damage from bloody lust. Hopefully a payout as well. To a spade. So just pop it. It's okay. Lucky Rock is also it's decent, but can't really justify it. Undefined, man. I can't take it this early. The D6 is too important for us. Two keys, four, seven bombs, I think. Uh, sometimes that economy doesn't work out. This time it does. We really can't afford to take even one hit here, for real. It'll be a it'll be a bad, bad situation for us. We'll buy this. Uh, we'll even buy this because it'll give us the opportunity to play the Demon Judgment some more, which might factor uh, somewhat heavily into my plans here. One day you're gonna pay out. Oh, that is huge. You've already paid out as far as I'm concerned. Okie dokie. It would be nice, though, on Necropolis 1 here to have more than five cents when we head down to the next floor. Seems like that's going to be decently likely, especially with all the poop on here. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely going to be possible. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be possible now that I look at it. Uh, we're actually at 15 cents now. got to be very careful here. I really, I mean, I can afford to, but I really don't want to lose any spirit hearts. That's uh, becoming second nature now, which is nice. I'm sorry about all this, like, strategic and not really that crazy commentary, but, you know, I'm, I'm slumping, man. I got to get out of the Nutty Professor to the slumps. I'm surprised that didn't hit me, to be honest with you. All right, let's do this. The adversary. Look, we're going to take a hit. Maybe two. I think it's worth it to just finish that off as soon as possible. No deal with the devil. I think Squeezy is worth taking without messing with it. And honestly... Okay, no, we got to play. go back and play the Demon Judgment. I was like, honestly, we're just going to head down to the next floor. Bit of a lazy play. Uh, I'm going to try something. Maybe find a secret room here. Bomb for a second secret room chance and one cent. Is acceptable. That was not a smart bit of damage there. I thought we'd get away with it. That would have been even worse, and it was very dangerously close. That's how you've, you know, it's a slump is a series of bad decisions, in Isaac at least. And they might be on like the moment to moment dodging level, bad decisions. Or they might be uh, strategic decisions. There's all sorts of, of options there. We might start giving them spirit hearts, and you know that's where you start to say, "Hey, remember where you said uh, slump is a series of bad decisions?" Yeah, but what's a streak but a series of good decisions? Okay, uh, lovers, devil, huh? Tricky. Oh, this is a great room. I'm glad I did some exploring. I always get hit about ten times on this room, but it's worth it <laughs> sometimes. Oftentimes, we got enough bombs to take advantage of it too. Oh, this is a great start, yeah. Well, at least we can just walk into them and kill them like instantly. Two of these, Wheel of Fortune. Definitely gonna blow that up. Are you kidding me? We got lucky with that, but Judgment. Okay, well, we gotta put this down to see if it's a Demon Judgment first, but for now, let's um, throw a Wheel of Fortune down like right here, then blow all these up. That was dumb of me. That half red heart? Pardon me, might have paid for everything on this room, and that Eternal Heart might not hurt either. Okay. Seriously, though, man, you gotta stop with this. The stars. Uh, not good enough to take down to the next floor. Hanged Man. Similar. Uh, credit card. Judgment. Hold Judgment for now. Reserve Judgment for now. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Because it'd be way more potent. Uh, that's an extra HP. We got the uh, Demon Tail. I don't want to take Demon Tail. We definitely want to take Credit Card out of here, so don't forget about this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you dick. You dicked me. Right, I'm doing another one. Come on. Okay, it's good enough. That means we keep playing. Don't tell me I have a pr- You have a problem. 
There we go. It was well worth it. It ended up being well worth it. Then we trade all that money that we got. Hopefully get some red hearts back. And, uh... What is this? This devil. Uh, we need the credit card when we leave. We still need to keep above five cents for the hopes of getting... Uh, why are we doing this, by the way? I want to get a V-Bag as soon as possible, if we can get it. Like, it would be nice to get it so that we can guarantee ourselves a huge bloody lust value every floor. But this is potentially a big moment for us, which is why I'm investing so much time into it. With Lucky Rock, we can get our money back easily. So we might as well keep trying this guy. He gives us HP. I love it. Okay. So our money's going to come back. That's no problem. We don't have any extra HP, you know, kicking around for us here, so... I think that this is the end of our floor. Definitely take that. Take our credit card and get the heck out of here. Probably blow this up. Could have used the judgment on the next floor, blown it up for a better deal with the devil chance. There's a good case to be made for that. For now. I think that that is the decision that's going to end up helping me out a lot. Sacrificing some spirit hearts on that demon judgment. Oh, it's a bad play. It's a bad play. Well, yeah, it's a bad play. That uh, basically took us to the HP cap there. It took us to the HP cap until I was an idiot. Um, and it also gave us a huge base damage upgrade. Or a big base damage upgrade. I appreciate it. I'm happy. And we did get an arcade. So our dream came true in that regard as well. Work with me here. This is a huge upgrade for Bloody Lust right off the bat. And then if we get IV bag. Wouldn't say we're set, but we're close enough. Not fantastic. I'm still going to be using a lot of Sacrificial Dagger, just because it's so GD fast. I can't say no. It moves real quick. Look at that. It was like half his HP in two cycles there. How am I supposed to say no to this? And if we can just get like a Holy Mantle or something, well, holy shit, this run's really going to go off the rails in a good way. Okay, so far so good there. Good floor so far, so good, good. Tinted rock over there, apparently. Can't pick up that spirit heart. That's okay. Still got credit card. How many times do I get credit card and then never end up using it? Too many fucking times. Let's try to avoid becoming another statistic. I don't know if I actually want to get rid of the D6. I want to get rid of the D6. I'm being blinded by the fact that we started with good damage because of this blood bank on this floor. If we didn't have this, we'd be very disappointed. And I would feel much differently, I think. We're going to take whatever gives us the best chance for success. And I think that definitely... That was dumb. Gives us the best chance for success. That was dumber. If you're wondering what the basis of the film was, it was that bit of damage followed by the extra bit of damage that happened right after it. Bomb for a bomb. You uh, throw in the bang, the bang, dicky. You got the whole Kid Rock selection there. More hearts. I don't know. I might not triple down on trying to get the uh, trying to get the IV bag though, because it'd be nice to have some HP for the next floor. Uh, we might get the blood bag, which I mean is good, but we don't. That's not what we want the most. We don't need HP probably. We'll be going into our curse room here. Guppy item would be very nice, and there it is. Okay, this is a big moment. We got two guppy items. Gimpy is not bad. Something we can be happy with. And this definitely, if it, uh, I mean, it's unlikely to pay out too much, but it does incentivize playing the Blood Bank a little bit more because we have the chance to earn some Spirit Hearts back from it. Careful with this one. Been making a lot of mistakes there. I, I don't know what I did that time, but I guess it worked out. Another Spirit Heart from Mystery Sack. Thank you. Try it like that on for size, and then there you go. I did it again. Play with your heart, got lost in the game, and all that good stuff. More of these. I'm very tempted to just have HP for when we go down to the next floor, but that's what a quitter would say. Was I raised as a quitter? Well, to some extent. <laughs> I was raised to solve things in an efficient way. So here's something that's not going to be popular. I think I'm going to reroll raw liver, um, but it depends. It depends a little bit. There we go. Uh, on what we get in these two rooms right here, and if I can get another reroll like soon after, because the other items I don't need HP at this point. <sighs> like that makes it so I really don't need HP, but do I really want that? I do want mom's key. So I think we reroll rosary, and then I think we come in here and we get a charge, and we 
we don't take the bean. I think we just go fight the boss in the hopes of uh, getting a deal with the devil and having a reroll ready for it. Why didn't I want to pick up raw liver? It's because we're close to the HP cap anyway. And I don't want to reroll the bean just to... Uh, oh my god. I don't want to reroll the bean because I want to make sure we have a reroll. We would probably be able to get one before the boss fight anyway. But, you know, my, my thinking right now is why I risk it. Just one item room versus having an extra reroll on a possible deal with the devil, which we did get. Uh, I'll, I'll take the reroll. And we got Fear Shot. It's okay, but I think we gotta go for the Guppy Dream. Oh, it's so much worse. There's nothing we can do about it, though. We still got a credit card. We're really hoping that we get a deal with the devil on our next floor. Otherwise, again, it's another situation where credit card is gonna go completely to waste. But I kind of feel like a credit card going to waste is not that bad. Like, sure, if, you know, it's not good. It's not ideal. But what, what could we have used it for here? We could have saved 15 cents. Did we ever not buy anything because of our money situation? No. So that is kind of a moot point. And it would have saved us one HP maximum on a deal with the devil that we might not have even wanted. That was... Why, why rush that enemy down? Just a stupid decision. Um, so, I'm, like, I'm not going to beat myself up too much over it. But, you know, credit card's definitely one of those things where if you get the opportunity to use it in an ideal situation, it's amazing. You know, three free devils, devil deals, and then a reroll on top of that for the ones you don't want. It's good, man. It's, it's real good. However, um, it's not the be-all, end-all. If you didn't have a good opportunity to use it, you know, that's all you gotta say, I guess. Still hoping for more base damage. Hoping for a good uh, there's options choice here. It means if we, you know, that's what I like about there's options. We fight conquest, big whoop. We still get uh, white pony and a choice. And a reroll as well. Oh my god. Bad habits, man. Very, very bad habits. How good would it be to have the habit, though? Very good. Yeah, okay, these guys rush me down, see what happens. This is a little better for us. We're still in a, it should be a one run. It's a weird one run, but it should be a one run. I'm sorry you have to do this. You gotta get blown up. Oh no. Oh, fudge. Other side of the world. Um, why did we do that? I hope it's uh, somewhat obvious at this point if you've been watching for a while. We want that ultimate uh, deal with the devil chance. So we can actually use credit card efficiently, and the only way we're going to give ourselves... I know there's a bomb there. The only way we're going to give ourselves a good chance of that, at this point, uh, you know, blow up a judgment. It's really the only thing we can do to affect our own chances, at least. Short of not taking red heart damage, but hopefully, you know, mission already accomplished there. But I'm starting to doubt it somewhat, because I'm mad and bad. Uh, Gimpy, please. Gimpy, I need... Well, now it doesn't matter, I guess, but... Just a random spirit heart. You can do it. Tinted rocks. Just don't take damage against the boss. Well, actually, even if we do take damage against the boss, because of that judgment, I think we have a shot at it. But, look, I'll be the first to tell you. As far as the slump goes, we're still playing badly right now. However, that is not what's going to be remembered. By me, at least. Oh, thank God. What's going to be remembered by me is, you know, did you win? You know, did that streak increment by one? All I need, it's a morale play. All I gotta do is get my morale up, and then hopefully, ideally, the rest will follow. Hello, Kate. Oh my god, you're still warm? I'm still on the womb, yeah. Dinner's gonna get cold, man. Well, I will be done in probably 12 minutes. I'll do my best. That was not the answer that I was supposed to give there. It's alright, though. We'll be finished relatively soon. It burns me up, man. I'm a I'm a hungry man right now. As soon as I said burns me up, the air conditioning came on. I, I'm a little confused about that. Yes, what's up? Look at this dinner. It's gonna get cold. It man. looks fantastic, Kate. I I'm it looks amazing. What can I do though? I'm go I always go as fast as I can. To the point where people are mad at me as a result of it, but it it looks really good. I can't deny it. I wouldn't want to deny it. She's a good cook. Okay, it's gonna be a double or a Mr. Fred boss fight, so we gotta be real concerned. We gotta be real careful and hopefully not 
be an idiot and take a bunch of, like, contact damage, or even any contact damage. You know what? There we go. That'll incentivize it even further. Was it a dumb decision? Oh, the dumbest. Unless it actually motivates us to succeed here. In which case, I'm a genius. Okay, so we gotta watch out for the small shots. I don't think the big shots that he shoots here are actually gonna be able to reach me. I think the parasite might have taken care of, well, it took care of none of them, never mind. I'm an idiot. We're almost done here. Our deal with the devil chance should be decent. We didn't get a deal with the devil, but we got synth oil. Synth oil is pretty good. Thanks, credit card. You, it was good while it lasted. <laughs> Every time, man, or oftentimes, man. Synth oil pickup is nice, though. Uh, that's not going to be too helpful. Well, now, actually, not that I want to, but we can sort of afford to take damage in the name of making Bloody Lust better. It's not a good idea, um, and is fairly likely to lead to our own death, but it's not necessarily a bad idea either. Always. Shouldn't have picked up that spear at heart, knowing that I'm going to go to this curse room. The guppy dream is existing. Maybe Gimpy will pay out anyway. Oh, or maybe we'll just pick up two spirit hearts anyway, and then it ended up uh, paying for itself there. Oh, more than paying for itself. You know why? Extra damage from uh, Bloody Lust, of course. Okay, this is... It's shaping up nicely now. And not only is our base damage higher, but our, our cap from Bloody Lust is higher. You know, the more damage we upgrades we get, the more damage we do at our highest level with Bloody Lust as well. So I'm excited about this. Still think there's a great chance of a win coming out on this run. It shouldn't be a loss. We didn't really get any of the, the be-all, end-all items. We need that, probably, possibly. But, uh... I don't think I've thrown as hard as I could possibly throw. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take this as well. And we'll take this. Um, uh, second-guessing that one now. The occasional piercing spectral shot is very useful. Fucked up our half-heart interval. That's okay. Well, it's not, but... I'm going to say it's okay for morale-based purposes. That is not a guppy item, but that don't mean it's not valuable. It don't mean much now if it ain't got that meow. Oh, scoop up ba da ba da ba Nah, we not, uh... Two range down pills is probably overkill. Possibly, like, by definition, the most useless chest in the game. We took a hit there, but I'd say, you know, you should see the other guy. That was dumb. Continues to be dumb. Let's not do what I'm doing. What am I doing here? Brain, brain, brain. You go around in a circle. Okay, thank you. There's like a... There's a problem with my... You know, the, the hemispherical connection between my brain. The left half and the right half. It's like the one half knows something, but it can't communicate it. I gotta push it manually through to the other side or something like that. There is a tinted rock here. Don't want the full heart. Let's keep that in mind. Man, would it kill you to give me small rock? Like, I think I kind of earned it. I've blown up a lot of tinted rocks on this run. I know that's not how it works, but... It feels like it should be a meritocracy, god dang it. Your fourth tinted rock should always be small rock. That would... That would be really bad. You'd lose, like, all sense of, uh... Excitement when you finally cracked one open. I can't believe we had freaking stupid credit card for so long and never ended up using it. Too good to use syndrome, man. But you don't want to use credit card to take a deal you don't even want in the first place. That just feels like a waste. Uh, I ruined my half-heart interval. Or maybe I already had ruined it prior to that. That's either way. The only thing that matters to me on this run, you know, we can worry about stylish optimal wins when we're not in a slump. Oh, that's good. When we're in a slump, I'm gonna do whatever I can do. I'm just gonna be happy with a win, you know? A dirt if a dirty win gets you out of a slump, who cares, man? It's a oh, win is a win. We gotta take this. As much as I might like to uh fuck it up. That was really good. 
Why would I want to fuck it up? Try to get the guppy item. Why does anybody do anything to try to get the guppy item? Not a good time to check the clock. <laughs> Big room over there. Long room over here. But hey, as far as long rooms go, yeah, I got hit. Might get hit twice. I got hit twice. That's all right, man. Life goes on on this room. It is the envy room, so we're getting the fuck out of here. I hope that this ends up being the right way. If not, well, we only have to waste one more bomb, but it's going to be annoying, and I fucked up my half-heart interval again because I'm a dumb idiot who doesn't deserve to get a 100 win streak in this game because I'm not taking advantage of the, the basic, you know, intermediate, well, not basic, I guess then, intermediate level fundamentals that would help me out a lot and give me a much better chance of success. So I took Pinky Eye over um, Pushpin. I don't think Pushpin is that bad, though. I think Pushpin is actually a lot better than I gave it credit for in vanilla, but uh, Pinky Eye more reliable. I, I consider Pinky Eye to basically be, you know, poison, uh, not poison touch, but common cold or Scorpio. I'll take it. I, I, it's as good as an item. There's not many trinkets that are as good as an item. There's a handful at least, but um, Cancer, Pinky Eye. Some are better than an item. That doesn't make them the best trinkets, though. Maggie's Faith is better than any HP upgrade item in the game, in the game as long as you can use it reliably. But there are some trinkets that would take over. Yeah, I knew this had to be the way. That's all right. He got the Tinted Rock for me. Gimpy is paying out like crazy. All right. I am going to try to not be a complete idiot here. And try to notice when we have uh, like orbitals coming up in front. That was crazy that I got hit by that. We had orbitals blocking that shit like crazy, but it didn't work out. That's all right. A couple of hits, you know, shit happens. That one should not have happened. That's on me. We're doing a lot of damage now. We don't need to be under this like false persecution complex where we're not doing damage and I have to run in there and you know save the day with sacrificial dagger. But. When Sacrificial Dagger is ready, if you can get in there without taking damage, it's better than the other situation. Alrighty, we got four and a half HP. It should be enough, honestly, with Gimpy. I hope I don't throw it on the chest. I should have way more HP, though, like, I'll admit. It's tough. Um, we'll take Super Bandage, we'll take Mom's Contact. Tech 2 can be really good, but the damage downgrade is probably too much. This is, this is solid. The money equals power pickup is a huge damage increase and damage reduction. Absolutely, I'll take it. And actually, I didn't even think about it at the time. But, uh... Oh, that's really dumb. I tried to go back in to kick the bomb and ended up getting stomped on. But, um... Mom's Contact combined with BFF Orbitals is really going to give us good potential to hurt the shit out of these enemies. So we can be, like, really, really happy with this. We, we got good synergy. Just in kind of a roundabout fashion. Now, don't throw. That's the only thing. We're killing Gluttony's last. Uh, I should pick that up. We have money equals power. We're killing Gluttony's last. We're killing, you know, enemies that give us Spirit Hearts last. Like these ones. Where's our last Gurglings? There's one. There's the other. And we have, like, we have a range advantage. We don't need to be stressed out. We don't need to be up in their face. Every time we get hit, we take a damage bonus, or we get a damage bonus. So, you know, be happy about this. Use your fundamentals. This is the way you get out of the streak, or out of the slump. You got a good run. Good run is how you get out of the slump. Maybe you didn't play as well as you could have played. But that doesn't matter. The best player gets a plus one. The worst player gets a plus one. As long as they all win the run. It's the only thing that factors into it. Oh man, this mom's contact synergy is too strong. Now we do have a reroll we can use on uh, Yumheart. It's going to be hard to keep in mind where it is. Luckily, it's pretty close by. But once we get a couple of rooms away or hit a dead end and start, you know, reversing direction here, it's going to be a little, a little tougher. Uh, and this is all dead end material over here then. Now, this is a rare exception. On this room, give them hell. The faster you can kill these guys, the better, as far as I'm concerned. At least, you know, take out one, like we did. It becomes easier. No HP. That's all right. There's going to be one room with a gluttony. There's always a room with a gluttony. That's just... This is science. 
I don't want to say that I'm, you know, thinking we might have to use this, but if we have to use it, there it is. Hopefully that's a nice little, uh, I don't, fail safe, that might be a good way to put it. In case things go terribly wrong, that can help us out a lot. Okay, back to the half heart interval. Things are starting to stack up very much in our favor right now. Freeze, 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 freeze. Freeze frame like uh, Jay Giles' band album and the self-titled song they're in. Fucked it up. It's okay. Well, yeah, one's got to go. Two's dead. Could be worse. A couple of hits on a double cage room. Could be worse. We got nothing to do with that D20 for now except reroll it in the future, which is not for now. And I took some hits that I should not have taken. Purple Heart is a little bit... It's a high, tall ask right now. Let's just put it that way. Alright, this should not be a losing room. You can die, or you can take damage against the gate. You can take damage against double adversary. You can't take damage against a bunch of, you know, bomb throwers here. Oh, I know that ruins our half-heart interval, but... It could be the basis of good half-heart interval in the future. You gotta be two shots away or something like that, yeah. Okay, freeze, freeze, freeze. One more, there's our half heart interval that I was requesting, and a great reroll opportunity, and oh, Maggie's bow is so good. Okay, this is, this is really good. How did you live through one whole cycle of that? That blows my mind. You've been working out. Yeah, with Maggie's bow, this is now officially, I think, unlosable. Which is a very dangerous thing to say, because, you know, if you want to make uh, God laugh, tell him your plans, right? But we're, we're stronger than we've ever been on this run. It's another long run, man, but that's okay, you know? Life goes on. Long, nice long run gets your, uh, gets your morale back up. Now, if we were a mushroom, I don't think we got to worry about what specific species. I think we're just a fun guy. <laughs> I'm going to assume that we're going to get another reroll to use uh, soon on something else. Like, I don't think we need to reroll uh, Mr. Boom. I think we're going to get the opportunity to take something else out. That's my wishful thinking, at least. Throw a bomb down there. Now, these guys can jump, so we want to stay away from them. Oh, that's so huge. Yeah, just walk on the creep. Oh, no, we lost our eternal heart. One of these days, they're going to give me the boss fight. And I'm going to win, and you can't stop me, Isaac. You saw me on the last one. You can't stop me on this one. It's over. I'm excited, you know? I've played four hours of Isaac today, two runs. It's basically the way it feels like it's worked out. I don't need that HP. If I end up losing when the boss is so close to death and one HP would have saved me, I'm going to be real sad about that. But for now, let's let's revel in the bravado. Sometimes bravado can be productive, man. Something like that, anyway. Yeah, man, every, you know, every... Uh Scent we pick up, that's .04 damage. That can be meaningful in an extremely large scale uh, kind of context. Oh, that's good stuff right there. How big is this fucking floor? Look, this ain't my first chest, okay? I'm just saying, this is a particularly long one, perhaps buoyed by the fact that we've got a, a little uh, Curse of the Lost going on. I shouldn't have told my wife it would be over in eight minutes. I was incorrect. I said 12, didn't I? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, you're done. Okay. I'm gonna... It's sweet vindication. Let's use credit card immediately. And then we're gonna do sacrificial dagger damage. Thank you, sacrificial dagger, for, you know... Cheers to sacrificial dagger. The cause of and solution to all of Isaac's problems. For now, though, we won. Slump over? Maybe not, but it's a good start. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.